was around me. Bitty bitch, all brand free. When you kiss me, I like to hear you day to practice your golf swing. <coughs> Unfortunately for Jumpy Squirrel, <coughs> that's exactly what George and Bill were doing. The key's all yours, George. <coughs> <laughs> telling when you might get to practice your swing. told George they were going to Scotland to help Uncle Tam move. George and his club were raring to go. Only the club wasn't going anywhere. Trust me, George. You don't need to bring a golf club to Scotland. to bring his club. This was like having an uncle with his very own golf store. To go with his very own golf course. At his very own castle. Why don't you go hit a few while this fella and I pack up for the move? <gasps> And keep an eye out for that thieving squirrel. He's always after me golf balls. George had no time to lose. It had been hours since he last golfed. <laughs> Bill had warned George that a golfer had to be careful. He could lose his ball in a sand trap or a water trap. <laughs> Squirrel trap? And then 
he remembered. Something called leverage makes you stronger. If you could hit a ball harder with leverage, maybe you could push a window harder too. This great castle. A lord agreement says the castle's owner must show the deed every year or pay the back taxes. And I cannot find the deed. Oh. Wow. Oh. I could help you pay the taxes. Oh, we've not paid in over 400 years, laddie. I may not be good at math. But 400 times anything is a lot of haggis. Well, maybe I could help you find it. What's the deed look like? It's very old paper, and it has the family crest on it. The dragon in the yellow tam. Oh. Now look hard. If we don't find it, they kick me out at 3 o'clock. Then we'll find it, Uncle Tam. George didn't see any dragons like that in this room. It was a secret passageway. <laughs> And it was going to stay secret unless George got that bookcase open. <laughs> if leverage could push windows, maybe it could pull bookcases too. Maybe there were some things leverage just couldn't do. you got between you and the ball, the farther the ball goes when you hit it. Maybe what George needed was a really, really, really long golf club. <gasps> or that big stick. Oh. Nothing like a big stick to get you out of a tight place. <laughs> or into one. Nothing stood between George and his golf ball now. Except a moat. Luckily, George found a bridge. <laughs> Unluckily, it was raised. <laughs> but there was a way to lower it. which was stuck. If you could push windows and pull bookcases, maybe you could spin wheels too.
George couldn't figure out why the squirrel wanted his golf ball, since he had so many of his own. This looked just like the dragon Uncle Tam told the man with the yellow hat to look for. We're out of time. Give up. I have to give him the castle. I won't give up. Is this it? No. A dragon's in a red tam. Is this it? Not blue, yellow, yellow. Have you looked in the mirror today, laddie? Um. <laughs> Master Dan, I'm here to claim the castle. Hand over the wikis. <laughs> George knew they'd be happy he found the dragon and wanted to show them right away. He needed as much leverage as he could get for this shot. Here you go. It's all yours. Expected. Not only did Uncle Tam get to keep his castle, but George had his first hole in one. <laughs> now, if we could only get his ball back. George is a monkey, so he can do things that we can't do. He used leverage to move the heavy bookshelf. We are going to move heavy things in the garden. Let's start with looking at this drawing. We're going to move these planters and put more stones in. Let's go. We moved the planters. Two of us could lift them easily. And then after that, me and Samantha try to dig up big rock. Well, Samantha, you can only use one hand. What Emily was talking about was that I broke my right hand, so I can only use one. So we should get some kind of tool. And we used a skateboard. We took the skateboard and we put it under the rock, then we pushed on the other side of the skateboard. It's kind of like what Gary George did with his golf club, except we used a skateboard instead. Now we're going to put a stone here. Who'd want to carry a very heavy stone? You could hurt your back. He's using a stick. Nolan is using leverage to move the stone. It's like the middle of a seesaw. If you took the fulcrum away, the stick would not be able to lift the stone. But if you put the fulcrum back, then you can. We can't lift this big stump with our hands. Maybe we can pry it up and put it on the skateboard. The job is to move the stump near the garden so it can be like a little table. We did it! Now we're having a celebration. Hey guys! Hi. I love the table. 